with another video and I'm doing the 29th prompt for the It's My Christmas and Owls challenge which I am finishing up. I'm almost done. I have one more after this one and then it is all done. I'm a month late but it's done. That's all that matters. So this prompt is favorite holiday movie and I'm going to do Frozen as you can probably tell by the stamping plate here. And I'm going to be making an Olaf decal. So I've got two little spots right here um, with top coat and I have um, I am out the door. That's what I have put down here. That's the top coat I used. I've heard sash doesn't work very well, just a heads up. And I am um, using my Uber mat for this. And this is uh, the first time I'm really experimenting with it. So we'll see how it goes. I have played with it a little bit before, but not, I don't think I've made a decal on it that I can think of. But anyway, so the first thing I did to all of the nails was I built this really cute gradient. So I painted all of the nails with um, French white cream from Wet n Wild and I used that and China Glaze at base value to create this really cute gradient and then over that over just the white portion I put a thin coat of this um, little mini polish from Wet n Wild it is a mega last polish but unfortunately there is no name on it and there wasn't a name on the box so I can't tell you what the name of the polish is but it's just a sheer white polish with a white shimmer running through it so maybe you'll be able to find it and then over the entire nail I put on one coat of this really pretty glitter and it is it's clear glitter so it's it's completely transparent glitter in a clear jelly base and the glitter is iridescent okay and I don't know the name of this either I'm very sorry but it is from the Wild Shine collection so you might be able to find it okay so that's what I've done to all of the nails and like I said I'm gonna be making an Olaf decal so I'm gonna be using this plate I got from AliExpress it's TU011 and I got this a couple months ago if they still have it I will definitely link it down below for you guys but I'm not promising that it's still gonna be there okay and um, I'm going to be shrinking the image, so I'm going to be using my Uber Chic Beauty non-sticky stamper. And I am going to show you how I'm going to shrink it. And I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Store scraper. And I'm just going to be stamping in black, Born Pretty Store number three. Unfortunately, because I'm stamping him in black, his little arms and his little um, hair sticks will be black instead of brown. But if I stamp them in brown, then his mouth and his little buttons, everything will be brown, and I think that will look funny. So I'm just going to go with the black, okay? So first I'm going to stamp um, his body, and I'm going to lay the polish down, and then I'm going to scrape the polish off just like I normally would, and I'm going to take my stamper head with all four fingers, all my fingers except for my pinky, and I'm going to stretch it back just like this and I'm going to roll to pick up and there it is and as you can see it didn't pick up that great I'm missing part of his foot and part of his arm so I will do that one more time move a little faster this time and hopefully it'll work a little bit better okay this is something you really got to move quick on pinch it back roll to pick up and that came up much better so I'm just going to stamp his little body right here just like that and then I'm going to do the exact same thing for his head lay the polish down scrape pinching back with all four fingers roll to pick up and there's his cute little head and I'm going to put that right here so now that I've got these things shrunk down a little bit to where they would actually fit on a nail I am going to put another thin top coat over it only because I tried to do this before and for some reason when I was filling in the decal the black was smearing underneath of the white and when I flipped it over um, it was all smeary and gross so I am going to put just a thin little top coat just over where his um, little body and little head is just to where it doesn't smear as I'm coloring it in so let me give that a few minutes to dry and I'm going to get out um, the white polish and the orange for his little nose and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so now I've given them a minute to dry and grabbed out my orange Born Pretty Store stamping polish, which is number 10, and my white, which is number 4. And you do not need to use stamping polish to fill in decals. I choose to use stamping polish only because it's very opaque and I know that it will not show through to the base color, okay? So I'm taking this very, very tiny dotting tool here, 
and I'm just grabbing some right off the brush because I only need a little bit and I'm just touching this in right for his little nose and dragging it out a little bit and now I'm going to scoot you down to his body and give his little nose a second to dry and I'm going to take the bigger end grab some of the white polish and just fill in his little body just like this. After his nose dries, I will finish filling in his head. And then, yeah, and then I'll meet you guys back. So while I'm letting Olaf dry the rest of the way, I'm going to stamp some of these snowflakes here from Born Pretty Store Plate BPL032. And I'm going to be stamping these on two of the pop sticks. And I'm just using my white stamping polish. And I'm using my Born Pretty Store scraper, and I put my um, non-sticky stamper from Uber Chic back in its holder. So I'm just going to grab snowflakes just randomly. Just like that. And just stamp them on the pop stick. Like so. And it messed up a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing for the other pop stick. There's the image. Let's see if we can get this one on there. There we go. And I think it's really cute because it's like the snowflakes disappear at the bottom, and I always thought that was a cool look. So let me go ahead and um, get my Olaf decals all ready, and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I've got my decals flipped over and all trimmed right here, as you can see. There they are, super cute. And they come out adorable. So I'm going to have his body on one pop stick and then his head on the other to where he's like chasing his head like he does in the movie. So I'm going to use my tweezers to hold on to his body just because it'll be easier for me. And I'm just going to put him to where, um, you know, his feet are touching the white part to where the white part would be like the ground, basically. I'm just going to kind of smush him on there a little bit, get him where I want him. And I'm just tape taking my cheapo Dollar Tree top coat, just like I always do. And I'm going to get up underneath of these edges here. And just kind of smooth them down, do the same thing on the other side, just like this. And there's his little body, running headless, which is really funny to me. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with his head, but his head is going to be kind of laying on the side, on its side, sort of. Kind of like this. Where it looks like it's kind of like rolling away, if that makes sense. And this is one that I feel like you could really wear this at like any time of the year because it's such a popular movie. Um, particularly in the winter time, but I don't think that this is um, limited to Christmas at all. I definitely think you could sport this any time of the year. So there's the decals applied. So now all I have to do is top coat all of the pop sticks and get you guys a close up. Okay guys, this is my finished Frozen Manny for Favorite Holiday Movie Prompt. And I think it's super duper cute. I wish I would have actually done it on my nails because I just love this one. I think it's adorable. Um, it's really sparkly in person. I don't know if, if you guys can see it or not. Let me see if I change the angle. Now, can you see the sparkle? Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I hope you guys love it too. I think it's super cute. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, come back and see me next time. Bye.